Do you know, one of the things I miss is having that Xbox 360, that older gen console, and the simplicity of the games, and the ability for people to manipulate whatever software it was, or whatever hardware that these people used to do. I don't know anything about modding, hacking, but I miss the fact that people were able to utilize that. And I know that sounds like a crazy thing to say, and it sounds like almost, I'm almost responsible for doing this, which I never have done in my life. But the reason I miss it so much was because I was able to do a lot of kind of new of the week videos um, and exposure videos on modders, hackers, and it, it was good. It was good food for content, and I actually really enjoyed doing them as well because you know you could just make light hearted of it. It's not the biggest crime in the world, let's be honest, but it's enough to make you pull your hair out and doubt people's integrity as they manipulate the system and wipe you off the face of the earth in a gaming respect. Now, Obviously with next-gen consoles, I don't know whether it's harder to do or whether these people are a lot more undetectable But I don't seem to see it anymore. I don't see any mod. I think they are out there I think I've seen a couple of people say oh these guys hacking and modding, but I don't see it And I also used to get that very confused as well I used to do a video saying hacker caught on um, you know Xbox 360 Call of Duty 4 and somebody say no 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 he's not a hacker He's actually a modder there's a there's a big difference and they'd explain it I'd go, oh, Okay, and then next time I do a video I'd go modder caught on Modern Warfare 2 and they go, no, no, he, he, this guy's hacking now. Go, oh my goodness me, I don't know, shithead. <laughs> caught in general. There you go, I'm just going to title all my videos, shithead was captured doing this thing he shouldn't have been doing. Whether it's modding, hacking, I don't know. But I do, I miss that. And obviously now, next-gen consoles, it's more difficult to do or there just seem to be less. I've got to be honest, on Titanfall 2, I've had a couple of instances where I've thought, hang on a minute, there was something not quite right about that. But it almost seems like it's very much undetectable, even in kill cams. There was one guy on one map, I can't think of the name. I'm not very good with the names of the maps on Titanfall. I don't take much notice. But there was this chap, and he was in a room, and he was camping in the room, and he was looking out, and he was firing, uh, you know, the launchers, the plasma launchers launches on Titans and I kind of snuck in the background so I knew he was in there and as I approached the building coming via around the edge of a wall he, he sort of did, he couldn't have heard me because it was so noisy this map it sounds like there's a Formula One race going on but this chap sort of turned around and he looked at the wall and his gun almost followed me to the point where I walked through the door and he shot me it was I just, as soon as I died I knew there was something fishy about it but you know, was he just a good player? Was he? Did he have that awareness? Did he understand that, hang on a minute, I've been caught in here that many times doing this same old trick, it's not going to happen this time. Oh my god, I was right, there was a guy coming through the door. What are the odds? He must think that looked very suspicious, which it did. But it's funny today, I was, um, I was kind of thinking about it and how much I missed it. And then I remembered way back, um, I don't know how many years ago it was, but one of the first exposure videos I did was of this guy, and it was on Call of Duty 4, and this chap manipulated the under the ground mod, if you want to call it a mod, where uh, on Call of Duty 4 you could somehow get, I don't know how you did it, you just somehow sunk into the ground, into this floating world, and you could shoot outwards, but people couldn't shoot inwards because the floor was unimpenetrable, unim unimpenetrable, unim unimpenetrable, I don't know, that word, it was that word, it couldn't be penetrated, <laughs> forget it, okay, you, you couldn't shoot in, it was bulletproof, there you go. And uh, he'd done this game after game, after game, and he went flawless. And I just thought, wow, this guy really needs to get out more if this is his, uh, you know, this is his way of having fun. And I actually thought it was a kid. I thought it was a young guy, because it normally is. And uh, it was only upon a bit of research on his gamer tag that uh, I think he had something like YouTube in his, um, you know, in his clan tag. It was only searching his gamer tag that I found he had a YouTube channel. And what he did was, he didn't really sort of post gameplays as such, he posted a few mods and things of that ilk. But his channel was based around like white racist supremacy Nazi bullshit, you know? It was just him. And the only way I can describe him without being offensive to people from Texas was he was like how you would expect a real Texan to be. You know, it's like when people talk about English people. I've got a friend, just going off the subject a minute, I've got a friend whose uh, friend is actually a drug dealer. <laughs> I shouldn't really expose that, but yeah, he's a drug dealer. And when I've seen this guy, I always describe him as being a textbook Brit. You know, a typical British man, string vest, pale as you like, bald head, you know, walking around in his flip-flops and his shorts. He's just a typical pasty-faced Englishman walking around with a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. But this guy was what I can only describe as a typical hillbilly hick. 
You know, you can imagine one of these horror films where somebody stumbles into his farm accidentally and he comes walking out and he's like, you're kind of out the way there, boy. Hey, come on over here, Peggy Sue. <laughs> that's a bad Texan accent, but that's what this guy was like, a typical redneck. But in the background, he had like a swastika flag, like a pre you know, proper Nazi flag, hating on black people. And I think his clan tag was something like... I'm gonna have to say niggers sh should be killed or something because niggers must die so I did this video about him and he his reaction to me when um, I don't know how he came across the videos whether somebody linked him in or he just happened to stumble across a hacker modder video on COD form thought oh that's uh, that's nice that's kind of related to what I do let's see how this guy does it holy shit that's me I'm under the ground in that unimpenetrable bit <laughs> under the ground the bulletproof bit um, wow, I'm being exposed by this shithead called Apocalypse. How many 4,000 subs or whatever I had at the time? I'm going to attack. And he proceeded to attack me back. But it wasn't a realistic attack. It was like one of these, oh, I've got your ISP. I've got your, you know, I've got all your information. I know where you live. And he was saying he was going to come to England and shoot me. <laughs> he was going to get on a plane, fly all the way to England to my address that he thought he might have. And uh, one day I'd be sitting there watching Tom and Jerry on the telly and the door would knock, I would open the door and there would be this hillbilly guy with Peggy Sue behind him with the uh, double barrel cocked over her arm and blow me away. Blow me away on my own doorstep for releasing a video of his modding and his antics. <laughs> Can you imagine the news story? It'd be like, really? Oh God, it was funny. It was funny. It was. <laughs> to be honest, it was the first one I did and I did kind of doubt doing any more because I thought, shit, I've really stirred up the hornet's nest here as uh, there was a lot of my subs who were in America going, oh, oh, I see where this guy lives. I know and I've probably got bigger guns than him. So if you want to talk about a gun war, I'll go around and shoot him in the face. <laughs> I thought, shit, this is like the Wild Bunch. What have I started? World War Three. damn it. But yeah, I just miss them days, man. You know, I just wish that there was a few more naughty people out there so I could do them videos. Because they were fun to do. They were probably some of the most fun videos I've done next to like Riley and stuff like that. You know, everybody loves Riley. God, I miss doing things like that. Seems like games now are just too much straightforward, too clean cut. There's nothing really I can poke fun at as such. But yeah, I don't see any modders, or I don't see any hackers, or any of the like. I don't see them on any of the next-gen consoles. I dare say they are there, but has anybody else seen them? Are they actually real, or is everything just too undetectable now? Uh, maybe they've just all, I don't know, maybe they stay on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Thanks for watching, guys. A little trip down memory lane. Apocalypse done.